Welcome to Puppy Love and Friends. If you're new to the channel, you're going to want to head on over and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell as well so you'll never miss another video. Animal or human, all creatures in the world have found a way to communicate their feelings. Your cat is no different. In fact, your cat's body language has much more to it than you might know. And paying attention to these signs can keep you aware of what your four-legged friend might be feeling. Curious to find out more? Keep watching this video. In this video, we're showing you exactly what your cat's body language means. Let's begin. The postures. A lot can be understood by looking at your cat's orientation and how it stands. There's a few common positions that you might find your cat in that indicates how it feels. The relaxed lays. This is one of the easiest postures to read. A cat that is relaxing on its side or stomach is a comfortable and happy cat. If your cat is sleeping with its paws tucked underneath it, that indicates that the cat is relaxed and having a good time. If your cat is facing away from you, that means it's uncomfortable and preparing to make a run for it. But if it's facing you directly, is intrigued and feels confident around you. A happy cat is also likely to be playful and engaging. The exposed belly. Another way to tell if your cat feels comfortable is if it's lying on its back with its stomach exposed. This is commonly understood to be a relaxing position for cats if they feel confident in their surroundings. However, it's important to remember that all cats don't behave the same at all times. Context is extremely important. Just because your cat is lying on its back does not mean it wants to be pet. When a cat lying on its back is stroked, it is likely to attack and dig its claws and teeth into whoever pets it. Notice if the cat's arms and legs look stiff. If they do, it may be preparing to attack. This position is used both when a cat is feeling defensive and when it feels comfortable. In short, make sure you think about the context before petting a cat's stomach. The arched back. A cat's physical appearance will usually mirror its mental state. Cats like to appear certain ways in different situations. When they are confident, they make themselves appear larger so other animals are aware of their presence. The same applies when they are angry or afraid. If your cat is extremely afraid, it will probably arch its back as high as it can. This is a position that has been depicted in many films and cartoons. When this happens, its hair is also likely to stand up and look ruffled. This is called piloerection, and both of these behaviours are used to intimidate their threats. If they look bigger, the threat is less likely to attack and may back off out of fear. A cat with an arched back is not looking to attack and is actually using a posture as a defence mechanism to warn off any possible predators. The Fearful Cower It's useful to remember that cats are very intelligent and use their bodies to mould themselves according to the situation. When cats are afraid and feel like they're being preyed upon, they prefer not to be seen. While a cat with an arched back is looking to ward off predators, a cat that is crouched over into a small ball is trying to become invisible. If your cat's head is lowered and its ears are either up or pulled back entirely, it is trying to make itself so small that the threat does not see it. An anxious cat will even pull its whiskers back to the sides of its face to seem smaller. This position also gives cats the ability to run off quickly if it needs to get away. The various positions of the tail. Your cat's tail can also tell you a lot about the emotions it's experiencing. The way it's been positioned and how much it's moving can indicate how stressed your cat is. If your cat is walking around with its tail up high, it's probably feeling very confident and relaxed. Cats use their size to communicate how comfortable they feel. A high straight tail means that the cat doesn't feel threatened and is very happy in its surroundings. If your cat's tail is quivering slightly, this also means your cat is happy and feeling playful. Now, if the cat's tail is also puffed along with being straight and high, this can be an aggressive sign or can mean the cat is afraid. Remember, if your cat is making itself bigger, it wants to be noticed and feared. On the other hand, if your cat's tail is hanging low, it is probably feeling scared. This tail position is commonly accompanied by a crouching position so that the cat is a smaller target. If the cat is very afraid, it will probably tuck its tail between its legs and appear even smaller. 
if your cat is wagging its tail back and forth, is trying to tell you to back off. Cats usually do this to communicate their displeasure. Your cat may also curve its tail to resemble a question mark. A cat that does this is in the mood to play. The ears. If your cat is feeling relaxed and happy, its ears will also be relaxed and slightly forward. They'll be soft and rounded instead of sharp. Cats are very good listeners and have great ears, so when their ears are straight up and pointed, they are trying to listen. This means they are alert and something has caught their attention. This could also mean that the cat is feeling attentive and playful. If the cat's ears are pulled back and drooped down to the sides, it is likely that your cat is feeling afraid. It doesn't want to be noticed by predators and is hiding any noticeable features. Your cat may also be feeling angry if its ears are pulled flat against its head. Either way, this signals towards an unhappy cat. The eyes. Cat's eyes really do reflect how they feel. You can learn if your cat is afraid, happy or angry just by looking at its eyes. One of the best ways to know if your cat trusts you and finds your company enjoyable is by seeing if it closes its eyes around you. If a cat is blinking slowly and closing its eyes for a long period of time, it trusts you completely. Cats are suspicious creatures and their trust is not always won easily. If your cat feels confident enough to close its eyes around you, it considers you to be a friend. Cats' pupils change a lot and can look like slits when they are constricted. When cats are feeling aggressive, their pupils tend to constrict so that they can see better when trying to attack. They may also stare down their prey if they wish to challenge it. If your cat's pupils are round and dilated, it means that it is stimulated by something. Stimulation can be either kind, it could be looking to play with you and be excited, or it could be feeling threatened by something. It's important to study the surroundings to understand what your cat's dilated pupils may mean. The sounds. Purr, hiss, chirp, trill, meow. Purring is a common way for cats to express pleasure. When they feel happy, they let you know by purring. However, cats may also purr if they are in pain, so if your cat sustained an injury and is purring, this may be why. If your cat is feeling aggressive or afraid, it is likely to follow a pattern of noises. First, your cat may growl, telling you to keep your distance. If this doesn't work, it may hiss, indicating that it is afraid. And finally, as a last resort, cats yowl to display their extreme fear and discomfort. Cats in heat also yowl. When cats chirp, they're in hunting mode. Usually the sound is to attract prey to hunt on. Trilling and meowing are usually signs of greeting and acknowledgement. Meowing is a very versatile way of communicating. It can mean many things based on the tone of the call. Normally though, cats meow to get their owner's attention. And that's a wrap for what your cat's body language means. Which one of these signs have you noticed in your cat lately? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for videos like this. See you in the next one.